Ladies and gentlemen, fishing freaks of the world, it has been about a week since we last met. Moving in to the new house. Thank you guys for all the, uh, the positivity. We are so excited. I just wanted to make another video, give you guys an update and see what the heck is going on in the pond. It's been driving me crazy. We've been moving in so much stuff. So we're, uh, we're trying to get everything situated, but we're making progress quick. OSG, what's she doing oh, right now? I'm building beds. Bed building? I'm building beds. <laughs> Our children need to sleep somewhere, right? Yeah, right now we're kind of bouncing around between uh, both places. So it's a little chaotic, but we are making the beds to eventually sleep in. We're yet to have our first sleepover. We've just been coming over making little day trips, but look guys, we're, we're carrying, I've got pretty much my whole office and the garage down here, which is all I need in life. So, except for one thing I'm about to show you guys, but I got uh, all the racks set over here with all the camping uh, gear. A lot of my hunting gear is set up. Um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of the outdoor adventure stuff is here. And then, uh, we're about to set up the tool space, the ever important tool space. You already know what well, we got to get that rocking and rolling. Uh, and then I've set up a little temporary tackle section over here. So this is just a bunch of different tackle stuff, lures, whatnot. This, uh, this thing right here. Well, I thought it was kind of cool to put, I was gonna load it up with tackle, but now I'm thinking it's kind of taking up space. Uh, I'm gonna break it apart, use it for, I don't know, make a deer blind out of it or something. The boat is gonna go here. The silver bullet is gonna be parked right here. And we got um, extra, extra dangle nuggets in our totes, ready to go. Um, you know what, we didn't show them this space last time. I feel like we at least owe them a little a little bit of juice here to see what it is because we opened it up. I, wa I was going to do like a reveal video of it, but to be honest with you, it was like, it was, I, uh... it was so small. I was like, <laughs> that's going to be so disappointing because I didn't know what you was in there. I was like, is it a big it. room? Let's just, I will let's say just this thing is, uh, it's pretty hard to get up. So there's no way Ben can get in here. That's good. That's really good. Put you down in the dump. Oh, we already got, we got store oh, foods in yeah. there. We got a meat grinder sitting in there and it's basically like two benches it's yeah. kind of like a dugout mm -hmm. so you go in there and um you know Bunker wait for down. your wait for your tornado to go by you clean this out down here right I it out. okay clean it out it's actually it's actually not bad all right it's it kind of feels like you're in a submarine it's weird but um it's like one little air hole there's enough headroom for me this could be the podcast room you know start a podcast Great audio down here. Not gonna have, not gonna have any audio interruptions. I've just never seen anything like this uh, before. Definitely never had a storm shelter at a at a house before, so it's kind of cool. So, yeah. um, the person before us put it down there so that they could do an oil change. Yeah, they were thinking, which is a good idea. So, because it's got a sliding door right here, so you could get. You know, I could get under my boat if I wanted to park it in here. I could get under my truck, change the oil. Uh, but likely that's, that's probably not going to happen. I got a big vision, um, a big, big vision for a shop. Shout out to my boy, John B Lunkers TV, biggest shops in the game. My gosh. Um, uh, taking inspiration from a couple of them. Uh, and my boy outlaw, my boy outlaw, has got one of the best shops I've ever seen. Um, super jealous of all those guys with, with the shops, but a man can dream, a man can dream. And um, you know what, if you can dream it, you can do it. That's what we're gonna work on guys. Let's go, speaking of uh, awesome shops, let's go check out the current man cave. Right now, um, the paint, the painters are doing their thing and OSG is not happy with the paint. Not I, happy. I definitely effed up on this paint. I will say this doesn't really happen very often, but this, when we first put on the paint, it was yellow. And we came back the next day and it was green. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, honestly, it is, when it's, it's wet and the different lights, like you got artificial light and natural light, well, but me. this was all dark, you guys. It has completely changed to like sort of a banana. You know how a banana is like green and yellow. It kind of goes in between. That's, that's yeah. kind of what I see in it. And uh, OSG, I trust her with my, my soul, my everything. And I don't even think twice when she when she's talking about paint colors or anything to do with decor. I'm like, she got it. I'm, 
I am uh, I am not gonna help this situation. She she just handles it. I do I do things, but she basically makes the calls on all that stuff. And this I have this on her now. I have this on her where I could say, remember that one time, baby, where you like picked out the paint and it was like totally banana yellow and not good. So uh, this is gonna be changing. It looks terrible with uh, the the white stone and the um, and the cabinets. Just doesn't look good. Um, Nothing about it. So anyway, that's going to be changed, <laughs> you know, so break out another thousand bucks, just like a boat, just, had a, just like a boat. We'll, uh, we'll get it fixed. No big deal. <sighs> bleeding, bleeding right now. Draining. It's going to be worth it though, guys. It's going to be worth it. Let's, let's head up into the cave where we have not changed the paint. And you can already hear, you can already hear the whispers of a, an NFL football game popping right now. And already in here, guys, we got, we got Bertha. We got my 11 pound, four ounce. Still to this day, PB chasing the gill from, you know where it's at, Lake Fork, Texas. That is uh, currently sitting in this room, but it might, might end up somewhere else. I don't know. Um, I just know I needed to have it in my man cave to start off. And we've got, uh, we've got the mantle situated this uh this tv mount took me oh man it took a lot of a lot of brain power and physical uh anguish to try to get this thing up here correctly um it was a really old tv mount that was on there and then um anyway it was offset so i made it work and it looks it looks great now we're ready to rock figured you guys would probably want an update kind of on on the house um, it's just been crazy though. We've just been moving a lot of stuff, honestly. My office is still a mess. Uh, I don't even have the computer set up. I don't, I don't have internet. So, you know, I apologize if uh, the updates aren't as frequent. We're, we're trying to get the big, big pieces out of the way. Um, also met our next door neighbors and they are super cool. So that has been great. Cause right now the kids are just free ranging. They're out there somewhere with other kids and it's just a, it's, it's good vibes. The pond was really low the last time I was here and um, it actually runs off the well pump. It has, it has a pump and it, it aerates and it puts water into it. So I've turned it on and I filled it up. So let's go check it out and see what it looks like right now. Man, there's an electric fence right there. I've almost tripped over and yeah, I actually tripped over. You know, I've been monitoring it um, and there's a ton of dragonflies. There's a lot of bugs, but I just haven't seen I, I know there's like minnows and frogs and stuff, but I don't think there's, I don't think there's predatory fish. So here we are and I've walked the pond edge plenty of times now and I'll see stuff kind of scoot, scoot around. Oh, oh, something just slid off into the, that must have been a turtle. Uh, haven't seen any any dead fish or anything, but there's there's life in here. I just don't know what it is. And the little swirlies by that uh, laid down tree, which is a great spot for bluegill. You know, uh, bugs falling out of the trees and stuff. So I think if anything, uh, they're they're if there's bluegill in here, they'd be over there. So we'll break out a pole here in a second and see if there's anything. Um, another thing that's crazy is um, just the other day. I came out here, you know, I saw, I saw the prints. You guys saw the deer prints at the pond. I didn't know how old they were or anything. Well, I came out here and I took a little bit of this. Um, I had this stuff, this company sent it to me. It's called Orange Corn, it's just an attractant. And I just kind of tossed it out right here and I threw up a cam and I was just I was just like, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get something, you know, after a week or, or so. <clears throat> that night, like within hours, um, deer started showing up, three deer. I've seen two different groups of three deer. Uh, there's a doe and a couple fawns, and then there's like a kind of a more mature group of does. No bucks, no bucks, but um, just really cool to have deer in the backyard next to the pond. We got the water source, and I still haven't even been back there to really see what's what's going on back there. Um, just been so busy s setting up the house. So let's uh, let's grab a pole, guys. Uh, family just left. It's just me. Been working here, uh, organizing tools, garage, and man cave, the essentials of life. And uh, now I'm just curious, what is going on out there? It's starting to get a little chilly. 
Uh, by the way, fall drop, uh, googlesquad.com. We just came out with a flannel that is uh, super comfy, that is pretty slick. Uh, got a GS patch right in the center back there. And um, it's, just a, it's just a cool like black and green. We also dropped some killer hoodies and hats on the site, googlesquad.com. You can use my promo code LFG, save 10 at any time. Now, uh, I don't have much for tackle here at the current moment. Got the silver bullet back at the other house. Um, I do have some poles though that have uh, made their way. Let's just call them the, uh, I don't want to call them the rejects. They're just kind of the leftovers um, and they're kind of in a corner. So I'm going to pick one of those up, get a little tackle. I'm going to see if there's anything in here at all. Um, anything that we can catch on rod and reel. So let's grab a pole. Let's walk down the pond, see if we can get anything. All right, here we are at the corner. We're gonna grab a little uh, crankbait I've got rigged on here. And actually we're gonna grab, uh, this is a crazy pole. We gotta tell you about this thing. This is kind of a bluegill catcher pole, but I have had this since I was probably Emmy's age. So when my dad used to take me fishing in his root beer colored Terry bass boat when I was just a little tot, uh, this is what I would use to catch little panfish out of the back of the boat. He would he would buy me a uh, a little can of of grubs, little yellow grubs, and I would put those on here, and I would just have a time while he was fishing for uh, white bass or largemouth or striper or whatever. Um, that was that was a pretty cool time in my life, and I will never forget the smell. Of dad's terry bass boat that two stroke sound uh all that stuff and this was part of it so you guys just smash the like button keeping keeping these memories alive right here and uh this is modern pole obviously googan squad uh finesse pole medium uh medium power and i've got some braid on it with a little uh mono and i've got a i've got a crankbait which is what i want to start out with so this is uh this is a mini banger and it only goes like four feet so i want first of all i just want to see like am i even going to hit the bottom this is this is you who chocolate milk we're dealing with here this is not a clear water pond so my first my first thought is man i need to get some like copper sulfate or, or something to kind of offset this color wow well that's a last time i fished this it was, that was a problem apparently i've got a knot in my line Technical difficulties here, folks. We'll uh, be right back with our regular, regularly scheduled program. Oh, oh my gosh, there was a boil right there. There was a good boil. I don't know what that was. Could have been a, a turtle. Could have been a catfish. I don't know what is in here. This is really a mystery, mystery pond video. Oh yeah, I see where this is a big problem. Got a knot in my braid. All right, let's get a retie on this knot. Dang, that's annoying. I hate having a little little catch in your little knot. <laughs> Spinning gear, that's no fun. Both strands of the braid pulled tight. Wah bam, there we go. Now we're not gonna have any more backlashes, I hope. It's kind of a catfish rig I had set up, so it's not really a good choice for the 10 pound mono knot, but here we go. We're back in the game. Well, bam, smooth casting. Hitting bottom right there. Ba bam. Boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Feels like good hard clay. All right. Nothing though. Got a leaf. Something like that. But what the heck is going on now? Dude, 
This is like the worst braid wrap I've ever had in my life. Hidden. Okay, all right. I think we're at like four feet because I felt like I just sniffed the bottom right there. We're probably at like four or five. About chest height. It's not bad. I'm glad to see that, honestly. I'm already thinking like maybe we can put a little, a little grass in here, something to clear it out a little bit. We'll see, like, is there a bluegill? Is there anything? It's so muddy. Man, going by that tree, I should be getting ba bammed. That gummit. Well, y'all, pond. Dirty water, looks like trash. There's some, ooh, ooh, what is that? Like, what is that? I think I need to get like an actual net out here, net around and see what's going on. There could be catfish. I'm just not, you know, catching on a crankbait. That could be the only thing that's living in here. Bluegill, I definitely would've got like a bump or something on this thing, super bright colored. Back in the garage, made a little progress, setting some tools up. And uh, I was going through some stuff and I found, I found some stuff for the pond. Look at this, this is a, a blue dye, uh, which prevents algae growth. Let's see, what do we got here, what is this? This is a um, unsanded grout. Okay, that's, that's not something we need. There's a tree and shrub. Okay, that's not something we need either, what is this? This is a, okay, this is an algae cure. So kill cyanobacteria in potable water, reservoirs, ponds, all that fun stuff. So it does have the copper. Mm. I think since I'm not seeing any fish, catching any fish, like I wanna be able to see in this pond. That, that is gonna be crucial. Let's go ahead and add some of this stuff. And um, you know what, there's a, there's a there's a spot just north of here, um, a place called Pond King, and they sell fish and they actually sell tackle and stuff too. And uh, the guys up there are really cool. I'm gonna go up there and see what they recommend. You know what what is actually uh, really cool about this pond is it kind of looks like the state of Texas. Like if you're gonna stand over there, it kind of looks like the state of Texas. If you look from from above which is just all kinds of cool. I'm gonna put a little bit of this algicide around the edge, see what happens. I mean, it can't hurt, right? It's not like I sat here and caught a couple five pounders. Ooh, ooh, edge of the pond falling off right here. Okay, so a little bit of, a little bit of algicide throw a little bit of this blue stuff in here and we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, that's definitely turning it blue. That is wild. <laughs> I think it's just literally just dye. It doesn't even look like copper sulfate. One gallon treats a five foot deep pond. Well, that's kind of what we got here or 1.1 million gallons of water. Well, bam, okay. Blue dye, we're gonna come back and see if this does anything in the morning. There we go, that's it. Blue dye, baby. 
we're gonna get a nice, ooh, God, it just stained my finger like nothing else. Little Smurf fingers. It's just awesome having a pond in the backyard. I can't wait uh, to have some sort of fish in there. You know, I, I thought to myself, if I ever have an actual pond in my backyard, what would I want to put it in there? You know, would, it, would I want it to be largemouth? Uh, would, I, would I want it to have crappie? Or would I want it to have like catfish and uh, just be stocked with bluegill for the kids to go out and it's, it's honestly pretty tough because I, I love the challenge of bass fishing, but I love having the resource of going out there and catching a crappie and, and, and a catfish uh, to put on the grill and having something easy for the kids. I really like that aspect. So uh, I kind of lean in less towards bass. All right, done for the day. I've uh, been working hard. Got the man cave established, got the garage. And I cannot wait uh, to get the silver bullet in here and just do tackle prep and mess around inside of a garage where, um, guys, I've been covering my boats. I've been covering my boats for, um, for like over a dozen years, you know? Like I don't know what it's like to have a garage to put a boat in. Uh, I've never had that. I've always invested in a nice cover and um, you know, taking that on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off. I've taken covers off on, on and off like a thousand times. So it's going to be really my dream to uh, have a garage here to um, have a boat in where I can prep tackle um, and, and not have to worry about putting the cover on for once. I mean, gosh, it's the little things in life. In the mornings with OSG, yeah. Swing it to me, baby. <laughs> there she goes. Ah, oh. gonna miss that old swing. Kids are gonna miss that swing. Oh, my friend take that with us. Oh, OSG's in. Yeah. She, she's ready to rock. She's starting to, we're moving the furniture now. We're about to uh, head over. I'm about to head over. We're gonna check on the pond. We're gonna see how our blue dye did. It certainly didn't come off of me after washing I got I got smurfed up a little bit and um, you know doing a little research so we're, we're gonna figure out something but if you guys know of a simple solution if you've had a muddy pond uh, if you know someone that knows someone or whatever that uh, has cleared up a muddy pond using using uh, you know natural solutions I don't want to add in grass per se um, you know, maybe some milfoil or something like that that filters, but I'm just scared it'll take over and then we'll have to add in carp and all that stuff, which which could be fun. But just let me know. If you know a solution that has worked, a simple solution, hit me up down in the comments. Back at the home pond, let's have a look at it. And this blue dye that I put in here really spread throughout the pond and it sort of turned it like a puke green I want to say it's not really blue anymore at all it's like it almost has a, a good looking like when a lake looks green I, I just I love that like it's not super clear but it's got that green tint this is not gonna this is not gonna do right here we get we got to do some homework you guys are gonna leave me some comments I'm sure um, ways that I can clear this up uh, but right now it just kind of looks like uh, you who do do Thank you guys for checking out today's video. You know, we are still bouncing around uh, both homes right now. It's, it's still really stressful, but man, just being out here, just hearing the crickets. It's one thing I've noticed, just crickets like all the time, like all day crickets, either in the wood line or, or in the grass. Uh, yeah, man, it's so peaceful. That's one of my favorite things about Texas in the fall is when that those grasses start to you know, get that nice, golden color and they're they're flowing in the breeze maybe you're you're out by the lake or maybe you're going on a deer hunt and that breeze just catches that in the evening and you're listening to the crickets and it's just oh man so we will see you guys soon on another video also leave me a comment down below what would you want to put in this pond 
because I want to know what you guys would want to see caught out of here too. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.